We're live. Is is this working? Hello. Say hi. Really? Just ignore that. <laughs> My mom will punish him sometime soon for that. Just please don't report this. What are you going to do? You know, I have my finger on the camera the whole time, right? I think I did. Okay, so anyways, it's 9.58. About to be 10 o'clock. Which is the closing hours. Which is where things get cautious. Which I suppose we're going to take the vlog around everywhere I go tonight. I have to. Besides, it is the 24-hour challenge. So how am I supposed to vlog without moving around? Here. Okay, you subscribe today again. Here, show the camera to me. Everyone who subscribed today again, I'm I'm a musician, so um, I'm gonna play all my instrumental. Why stay in my lane? All right, guys, commercial break by Drake the Snake. Are you tired of? Having your friends stomp on stomp on you wherever you go. Really? <laughs> Please ignore that and don't report this. We'll punish him shortly. No, no, she won't. It's not illegal. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yeah. You can stay now while I stay the same. Have you ever wanted to be get a well buy new Yeezys for two thousand dollars? I will jump down on you in my dreams. If I even have dreams. A new perfect idea.
guys. Meow, 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 meow. This is called a fez. Okay, listen. My live stream. Drake, I think you have a fan here. So let me see. Join the stream and chat. You have a big fan. Wait, Dagan, you've never heard my song Masks, have you? Ready for this? Spent so much time with a mask on When I took it off, I was gone Look in the mirror, something's wrong. Spent so much time with a mask on. In the public, eye. I've been seeming fine. I've got so much crap to get up off my mind. Been spending time and bright. But I gotta push it all behind me. In the public, eye. I've been seeing a fly every single day just to act bright. Can you stay inside every day to spy? Even when you're feeling dead inside. How are you supposed to be a role model? When you need a role model. So going up, going full throttle. Balls. Spend so much time when I took it off, I was gone. Look in the mirror, something's wrong. Spend so much time with a mask on. So much fun and hurt. How dark can burn you? Shadow, what you learn make you feel like nothing's worth so much fun. But you all messages are retracted. Just wait for the time to turn. Spend so much time with a mask on When in the mirror something's wrong Spend so much time with a Well, like and on. subscribe What? This is a live stream We don't have anyone watching us there was one. I left. Like, I probably got a new subscriber. Probably not. I could. I might got one. <laughs> what? Nothing. 
Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts Express set from 2018, which has 801 pieces, six minifigures, and retails for $80 in the United States, where it is a Target exclusive. Now let's take a look at the minifigures. All right, now this is Harry Potter sets, Harry Potter's theme, but gosh darn, this Dementor I want to start off with because it's freaking awesome. I love that dual molded legs with the black, which is pretty hard to get. Okay, so cool. it's now 10 08. Have a bad creepy face. No oh, way. The stream must and keep the going. Is unfortunately, the older style cape, which I wish it was a newer style because I just like it better. It's easier to maneuver. Now, there is no back facial printing, but I don't really think it needs one. The front face is basically the only expression that mentors have. So, this minifigure is freaking awesome and exclusive to this set. Alright, so here is Harry Potter. And okay, so it's still Tunnel away. Secrets, which does not make sense because this design is from Prisoner of Azkaban, and that ticks me off so much. He does have his wand right there, which, if you don't know, the newer wands come in a two-pack, which you kind of have to punch out yourself. I don't like that because it leaves some rubble on the bottom. But these newer wands are a good mold, which you could actually position them in different ways by using this little joint at the bottom, just like that. And it's just such a shame that they didn't do his design from this scene in Prisoner of Azkaban, because the Aragog set is very cheap. This is a more expensive set. And he does have a back facial expression. I still love getting this hair piece. Honestly, if it was up to me, I would give him the new team legs in this set because that's how they should be in Prisoner of Azkaban. But where it's the outfit from the Aragog set, which doesn't make sense at all, his back facial expression is a more cheerful one, but I just love that front one where he's scared. Now, Hermione, that matches her design from this scene, which, okay, that's good. Um, the design for her hair is that new mold. And it would have made more sense if she had the mid legs, yeah. but whatever, I'm not going to complain when we got this new outfit right here, at least. And you can see her back face right there. Lupin is exclusive to the set, which is great, because we haven't gotten his torso and face, exclusive prints, and his back facial printing right here has a bit of his werewolf design, which is kind of interesting, like what they're going for there. And the trolley witch has an exclusive torso and face print, and I don't think she's ever been printed in Lego before, so that is kind of cool to get her. She has some back torso printing, and funny enough, even an alternate face, which wasn't really necessary, but they'll take it. So here's the build of the set. First, we'll take a look at the namesake, Hogwarts Express. So the Hogwarts Express has a passenger car, the cargo wagon, and the locomotive. So keep in mind, I'm not really an expert at Lego trains, but I'll just kind of put the perspective of a common Lego fan or Harry Potter fan. We have this nice printed piece right there that says Hogwarts Castle, a sticker there, a sticker there, and a sticker there. They use the same wheels as the Lego Holiday Train for Winter Village recently. This front right here is a bit updated from the last version. We do have a new print there. I like how they use this piece to top it off, as well as these kind of uh, metallic gold pieces, I believe. Uh, for these dishes, which were also used for some other sets, like I think uh, the fairground mixer used them, I might be wrong with that. Now the front right here has a bit of a feature that if you move this part up, four wheel add-on right here, you can do it a little bit more loosely, so I would imagine maybe that's for more sharper turns or stuff like that, and if you push this down, it just kind of goes straight, and this still is a little bit wobbly if you lift it up and stuff, but it's on the track, I'm sure it'll go straight. And again, I'm not a train expert, so I might be wrong about that. But they also have the same stickers. Waiting for visitors, well. waiting and for viewers. Cab. It's a little cramped, but you can see they have a nice engine going on there, uh, as well as some printed pieces. I'm going to bed. Exactly I'm turning the light yeah, out, okay? The what? I'm turning the light out. As for the cargo section, which again, you can use for kind of passenger cars, just like that. It's pretty basic. There is a sticker that's present on both sides, which just says Hogwarts Railways. Alright, it's 10 12, and our light is off. This one a little bit.
and exit door, which are kind of ridiculous because uh, they're too small. Now, if you want to like a very car to go through, you can't even go through, even it has a short main thing. That sucks. Plus, the seats are blocky, so in my opinion, they should just close them off. Maybe I'm wrong about that. That's it for the Hogwarts Express. Let's take a look at the Alright. Oh, hello, we have a visitor. Okay. One second.
We need viewers. What? What? Nothing. Ridge in the center. 
center and the eyes are outlined as many figure arms to capture the contorted, angry expression. This build is so simple in its accuracy. It has a way of looking like an easy lock to assemble, oddly enough. I seriously doubt that that's actually the case, but it's still pleasing to see something look so good and be made with simple and accessible parts. Next up is a build by Jim Wheeler called The Doctor. We've got what looks like a traveling doctor moving between villages, I guess, set in ancient or olden times. With a slight twist, his valiant steed is a slim dinosaur. It's a fun little touch that adds some flavor to the build. The details of the flesh and out the scene would really make it for me. The spherical clumps of the flowers from the tan pieces use just trunks feel wholly alien in a certain way, yet the flowers are somewhat familiar, reminding me of cherry blossoms. They can speckle the ground and float on the water. The waterfall has that little crystal piece at the end, which looks like the stream is kind of splitting into smaller droplets as it falls off the edge, and the doctor's carriage has an added detail of herbs hanging out of the bags on this instant. First, the imaginative worlds that I've seen fleshed out so well in just a single scene. Moving on, this next build is also completely different in every way. Anthony Wilson has made the Tyrannosaurus Nex. Get it? Nexodites. Honestly, some of my favorite builds from Prince LA at the beginning of this year were giant dinosaurs distinct build style is undeniably clean. The body is sectioned into a series of great robotics. Ice boy snakes that look like they can slither but end up just pinching your fingers. The stance is dynamic and powerful. The fierce design of the, the head and on the back of the necks of the reps is like entirely extra and a little bit out of place. Honestly, the idea that someone is operating this creature that just looks so animalistic feels a little bit like a stretch. And the orange highlights are so far apart, which is good. This part of the stream, we will play some songs.
trucks in to bring them back some terrain or uh, I or actually there's a whole piece of terrain here that set from the city. That would be awesome. So, so we'll look right back at the set and say what's very similar. So this is certainly massive over time. Very excited about this. It's, it's got a very nice stand too, so it can be an aerial pose. And of course we're getting our Burr array and she looks fantastic. Being female, that's amazing. And that's one thing that Megan instructs uh, uh, the devices that Megan constructs. There's just not enough females. We need more females. We need more civilians. We need civilian migration figures. And that's what they need. Uh, somebody to protect the world. You can do it. You can get them on a table or a boat. You can get them on a Drake, is this creepy? Yes.
Whoa. Looks like we have a viewer. Fellow viewer, I'm doing my live stream. <laughs> 